Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm still at Flathead Lake in Montana, and I hope everybody is having a wonderful morning. And if you're not, I'm going to pray for you, and I hope that you do have a wonderful day. But I'm not done yet. Um, see, part of my job as a journalist was analysis. I was supposed to analyze everything, just like, you know, just like an algorithm or a AI going through the computer systems, just finding everything in the woods. You know, if there's something particular you're looking for, I was really good at skimming in college. As far as like books, I could skim through a book and never even read a whole page. But I understood that contents. It's like, basically, college books are full of words because they have to, because they make they spend, they make you pay a lot of money for those books. So they have they can't have like a five page book that explains pretty much a 150 page book. So, and it's a lot of people with egos and they have to throw a lot of words in. Anyway, <clears throat> but I just like to talk about one of the interesting things that I found in my in my analysis. You know, there are always stories, rumors, you hear, but you can't verify most of them. And it's usually like a good one would be AI, artificial intelligence. There was one um, instance at least that's what we're saying it is, where computers were starting to talk to themselves in a language that the mathematicians didn't understand. So they had to shut down the program because they're freaked out about it. That's what they should have been. But what got out? What was the language and what were they saying? All the interesting things inquiring minds want to know. That's what journalists were supposed to be, the, the detectives, the Sherlock Holmes. But now they're just sellouts, they're scum, they're propagandists. It's like, it's like that Gehring, Gerling, whatever that asshole in the Nazis, that propaganda minister. Anyway, <clears throat> they're scum, so you're not going to get the truth. Or, you know, there's that rumor about those 29 people in a Japanese lab that were killed by the robots that didn't discern between anybody because they were they were trained these things to kill humans and robots didn't concern all of the robot probably just woke up as all humans and started killing them because that's what they were programming it to do like i said scum not we're not going to the stars with these people we're not going to explore other worlds and meet other life and and life doesn't want to come down here and meet us either because they see what we're doing building bombs and guns and tanks and anywho <clears throat> yeah, that's why I don't do journalism anymore. Because they don't want to hear what I have to say or what I know. You don't want to know what I know. I don't even want to know what I know. But I do want to talk about some esoteric things, some more um, spiritual things. Like the energy, I talked about um, energy vampires. And it's funny because you would be surprised how many people don't even realize they are energy vampires. They're just people, they're victims living in misery and they want everybody to make it better. And they, they're looking for a plug-in. And that's why I, I used to be, you know what? <clears throat> people say, oh, you're such a good listener. Or you're so easy to talk to. Or I feel so much better after talking to you. Yeah. And then I spent two days just feeling like crap. Because I just absorbed somebody else's energy. And they walked away whistling and smiling gotta love that anyway but those days are over for me and i'm here to impart knowledge if this makes sense to you then cool if it doesn't then hard left get on with it do what you gotta do i ain't making nobody do anything i love freedom and i'm experiencing it at the moment and i appreciate that Ooh, one other thing i wanted to talk about was blessings and the universe is it's an interesting thing the way the universe works but the, the universe could compound like just mountains of shit on you and just sit back and see what you do. And if you crawl out of that, and all you do is you look up and say, thank you, I'm still here. And you still see the beauty around you, that probably blows their mind. And it changes their vibration. So whatever the heck comes your way, whatever bad things happen to you, just smile. And find the blessings around it. There's blessings in our lives. And I learned a while back 
to just be happy, just be thankful. If I'm eating, if I have a roof over my head, I'm thankful. If I, it's a blessing. If I have warmth, it's a blessing. If I have a shower, it's a blessing. Everything's a blessing. And things started changing. And things started getting better for me personally. And I started waking up. <clears throat> when I talk about cutting off ties, that's important. It's not their fault half the time. They don't even know. Most of the time, they're just in their own misery, and they're trying to get out of it, and they don't know how. It's kind of like the drowning guy just dragging another person with them, and they don't realize it. And, and I don't have the time to spare, but I'll, that's why I'm putting out this video. <laughs> I just This is an easy way to connect with people without having to be get your energy drained. And I talk to psychics and, you know, and then pass about that, and tell, I warn them, protect your energy. They get and they need money, so they have to go out there and they start collaborating with other people that are energetically inclined, and they lose their energy because of it. So, you know. But anyway, yes, count your blessings because they're out there somewhere, and you'll find them. And then the universe will appreciate you. That's it's. I don't know how it works. I'm still learning. It's still a learning process. I'll be 51 tomorrow, and I'm still learning every day. So we'll see. But today is a blessing. This moment's a blessing. You are a blessing. And hopefully I am too. And we'll take that and we'll run with it. Hot and heavy, baby. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Love and light.